Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays for Friday, the whatever the date is, I don't care. Um, it's, it's not actually going to be the date I record, I've record. i recorded this, so I'm recording a bunch of these that's on the same day, so I've got plenty of videos to put out for the next few weeks. So, little background information there, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you still get to look at the video. Um, so yeah, IG-88 here, rounding out, going through the Bounty Hunters. The original Empire Strikes Back 6 kicked off with Dengar last week. And we're getting IG-88, which is really cool. Not a lot of difference between this one and the vintage Kenner one. Very, very similar figure. Um, there's not much to it at all in comparison. Um, you know, I should have I should have brought my vintage one down, but that's okay. We're talking about the power of the force. So yeah, obviously IG, IG-88, oh, I keep wanting to call him IG-11, he's become the uh, new hot property of IGs <laughs> ever since Mandalorian came out. Um, given that I did just get the uh, IG-11 vintage collection droid as well, uh, that came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I've, I've always been a fan of the uh, IG units. It's great to sort of see one in action now that we've seen IG-11 in, in action. I'd love to see IG-88. Um, at his brutal best, maybe in a flashback in Book of Boba Fett. Who knows? Time will very much tell. So yeah, I don't have his weapons. Um, I've probably got one that would work as a replacement. But yeah, I, I had to buy this one loose at some point. Um, he's been kicking around the collection for quite a few years now. But yeah, I, I dig it. I've always liked the IG, IG droids. So they brought him into the Clone Wars. This is IG-86, I think they were called. The assassin droids that uh, Garnacht had. They were, they were pretty cool. Sort of got a good vibe of what IG units were capable of. Considering IG-88 was just bolted to the floor of the Star Destroyer. Um, it's funny, if you look at the picture of them all, next time you watch Empire, you actually see that um, IG-88 IG is actually standing down a step, down in the background. He's not standing up there with the rest of the bounty hunters, because um, he's quite a lot taller. So yeah, he's actually standing back down a step. So he obviously was too tall to fit on the bridge. But yeah, they've always sort of done the action figure sort of in scale with the shot of the six bounty hunters standing next to each other as if IG-88 is standing right there with them, but he's actually not, so. Either way, I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked with this guy. He looks good. This was uh, 1996, so it took 25 years since this one was released. And uh, yeah, love to hear what you think of IG-88. Yeah, definitely want to see more. I know the Expanded Universe went a little bit overboard with IG-88, and there was IG-88B and IG-88C and IG-88D, and one of them took over the Death Star, and <laughs> one of them took control of the second Death Star, uploaded its programming into the second Death Star, and was blowing up Rebels. Yeah, strange, very, very strange. Not badly sculpted for what is more than likely a reuse from the uh, from the 80s or even 79, I suppose. Wants to focus, just wants to focus on everything in the back. That's okay. We'll wrap up this one. Thanks for hanging out for another Power of the Force Fridays. We have a robot. An assassin robot called Iggy <laughs> and we'll see you next week for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays we'll take a look at another surprise bounty hunter till then may the force be with you always